Let's get rich, what? The GK Vines and Sugar Dimes can't quit, what? Now pop the caucus, lean the Vega and get lit, what? 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 Introducing Phantom of... What's up? A girl for a little... Yeah, uh... Um... Right here, this is the P90 that, um... Anthony Hicks suggested for me. And right here, I sorry, I started off with the, um... With the UMP. Because I just made this class to capture B, because the other team's like, Hey guys, let's all use riot shields, and uh, we'll use it to capture B. And then me and my friends heard them saying that, so we're like, fuck that. We're gonna get these niggas. So, um, yeah. Mr. Lancy Pansy does some serious work on them with the spaz. And then I clean the other guy up with the Semtex. And, um, I'm not even... Yeah, okay, I get killed right here. <clears throat> so I get only, like, one kill with this class. So it's not like I'm I'm whoring up the UMP the whole time, don't worry. This is... Right here, I slow it down so you can see the name. Right there, Anthony Hicks. Got it. And it's the P90, Sleight of Hand, Cold-Blooded, and... Ninja. Secondary? God knows what it is. But, uh, I got stuns and the Semtex, and this this class, it's, um, it's good. I don't know, there's situations where I found it was really good, and then there's situations where I just wanted to slap myself, because this gun is pissing me off so much. It, it gets, like, feels like it takes a long time sometimes to put someone down, and then sometimes it feels like it's it puts them down pretty quickly. Like, right there, that was, that was decent, I guess. But, um, I don't know. But, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm just unloading on people sometimes with it, and it's just not, they just won't die. But, uh, it's, it's still a good gun. With the sleight of hand, I feel uh, it's really fast and, like, effective. I'm getting up in their spawn, and I'm kind of just trying to do as much work as I can. My kill streaks are 3, 7, 9, you know what they are. And, um... Yeah, basically, I'm just trying to keep them in the spawn. I don't want them leaving it. I kind of pushed a little too hard, and I think they they flip. Like, they uh they switch spawns. Oh, here's my secondaries. Kimbo G18s. I've been trying to fall in love with these things. They are destroyers. Yeah, um... Just pretty much doing work with this class. Uh... It's, it's decent. I'd say you should try it out. It's a pretty good class. I did good with it. Um... Things I'd probably change with it would be actually I don't know marathon. It depends on the map. I use marathon on maps that are like uh, like really big, so I can I can get to the flags easier or in domination at least. I use this uh, on like real big maps so I can get to the flags easier and be more objective player. Right here. Actually, this game I was playing very objectively. I know in a lot of my dominations, I haven't been focused on the objective enough, but you will see. I am very focused on the objective in this game, because I don't want to lose. I really don't, because I think... Since I play with a, a group of my friends, I think that... Oh, like, I have a an <laughs> obligation, I guess. I don't know if I said that right. Obligation thing? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying, but... I, I, f I just want to win, alright? Just because I'm with my friends. I know I hear fast forward because objective gameplay. It's not fun to watch. Just capturing flags. And, uh, yeah, I can't even find a real gun. I'm just running around with this M9. But, yeah, since I'm with my friends, uh, I, I want to be able, I want to show that we're a decent team, that we can win, and I'm not trying to just be losing games with my friends. If I'm playing with a bunch of randoms and domination and then we happen to lose, but I'm still like trying, doing the objective and everything, it's not my fault that we lost. It's like I can't choose my own team in that situation. So, um, you, you can't win a domination by yourself. So yeah, DK Ninja JD wants to play with, but it sucks to be you. Not sure. We picked him up after this. He's cool. Um... Yes, yeah, I'm defending B a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm just going to talk about the gameplay mainly because, um, since this is a recommended class, I was just, um, someone told me to get this gameplay, so, so I, I wasn't planning on making this commentary and having stuff to say during it, and uh, I got whooped right there, I didn't see that guy going anywhere. Uh, taking B, I just want to make sure they don't get that, put a syntax. It's always a good idea. 
to put a semtex on a flag, like um, if you run, if you're approaching a flag and the enemy's taking it, and you have semtexes, then like uh, this is what I do, and it's it's a pretty good, it's a, I don't know, it's a good tactic. Look at the hit markers right here. This is ridiculous. Oh my God, I was crying during that situation. That sucked. Got like a thousand hit markers, but anyways, um, when you're approaching a flag and the enemy's taking it, I always throw a semtex on it, then go after them. So just in case they do happen to kill you, you you have that semtex just for security. And also, don't be shy with your stun grenades and all that stuff. Stun grenades are there for a reason, all right? It's it's basically when someone has an advantage over you and you want to have the advantage over them. It flips the uh, the advantageous this ism over to your uh, to <laughs> to your side like uh, say you're you're um you say so say someone's coming to that K that I was just looking at or no no, no here we go while well, I'm capping C I know someone's coming through that doorway and I'm laying down so my I would have the advantage in that situation because they'd be walking and they wouldn't know where I'm at but I like say they're not using ninja and I use my toe beaches I can hear them so they're at a disadvantage because I know where they're coming from <sighs> Sorry, I'm talking really fast, but um, I'd have the I'd have the advantage because I know where they're coming from and I'm ready for them. They know I'm somewhere on C, so what they just, so for them to gain advantage over me is basically just use your stunts. Then I can't aim for shit, so basically all they have to do is just run around, just happy feet, happy feet. I won't be able to move fast enough to get them, and then that's how they get me. You'll see me do that in other situations using my stuns when people have. Uh, when I have too much of an advantage over me. And that that sucks getting quick scoped when I could have got a triple spray right there. Here you go. I save B at the last second right here, avoid the grenade, and then cap it. Whenever you see like your friends capping a flag and shit looks like it's going pretty bad, then uh then help them out. And what? What was that? Oh, yeah, that was a four in one Centex, bitches. Thank you. I know. This this life ain't easy of mine, alright? But I make the most of it. Getting 4 one sent Texas, you know, it ain't shit. But yeah. <laughs> Actually, gameplay, I want to build another kill streak because I know I'm getting a lot of kills. And at this point, we need some air support just to keep them off B because they're really. They are. They keep going back and forth with us at B. They know that's important. And you guys should know too. In domination on sub base, B is. It's what you need to have. I want to say B is key, but that's that's another director's quote. I'm not gonna steal that. It's true though, but it's a very important B. You need to have B in almost all domination, but especially this map. Uh, there's other maps that are like that too, but I'll just focus on this one. Ones that are linear. What linear means, like in a line. See how there's A, B, C They're on like a line on the map. Maps like that, B is almost always like a deciding factor. On if you're gonna have an advantage in the match, or if you're gonna be getting spawn raped and fucked up the whole time. And right here at this point, right here, I can watch them. I can watch them come around, and then I also defend B. So that's why I'm in the spot. I'm just building the kill streak, and then also trying to defend, defend a little bit, <clears throat> and camp it up too. You know, you gotta love camping. It's the best, right? It it displays a true skill in a player in a first-person shooter. If you're not camping, I don't know what you're doing because there's just there's just no reason to do anything but camp, right? Of course, you guys all know that we love campers. But uh, but what I was doing, it wasn't exactly camping, I guess. I was you call it defensive play. That's what people who camp like to say when they don't want to admit that they're camping. Yeah, I was using some defensive play and um, or defensive tactics. <laughs> Which basically means I was just moving around, holding down that area, making sure no one comes or goes through there. But, um... Uh, camping, in my opinion, like, true camping would be like... You're looking in one direction. You're just looking... I don't care where you're at, but you're looking in one direction, waiting for someone to just cross through your line of sight. And then when they do, you kill them. That's true camping. Especially when you camp in, like, a corner, or in, like, a dark little cutty ass spot then yeah it, that's that shit's hella gay don't do that don't hide in the corner and think you're gonna build your kill streaks up cause someone's gonna come after you and they're gonna get you so that's a bad idea just 
actually run around in this game and develop some skills. Learn how to drop shot. That's a that's a very, very important skill in I don't know about all first person shooter games, but definitely this. I don't know if you can go on prone in a lot of sh first person shooter games. Seems like Call of Duty is one of the one of the few games that has the prone feature. Which is weird because like a uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 didn't have that. But that's kinda good because the snipers would have been invisible in that game, but who cares? We're not talking about Battlefield Bad Company 2 right now. Um, where did I go? I went 40 and 12 with Anthony Hicks's P90 with the silencer, sleight of hand, cold blooded ninja. It was a good class, and uh, I did decent with it. So, um, I'll see you guys later with my next uh, suggested class gameplay. Alright, peace.